In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to get a woman that rejected you. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process that has worked for me and my clients. Uh, and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about my story in this, because I've had a lot of women that have rejected me that have eventually come back, including the woman that I am currently dating. So the first thing that I'm gonna say about this is most of the time when I hear about a guy who wants to get a girl that rejected him, my advice to him is to move on and find someone else who won't reject him. And I know that's not the answer that you guys want to hear. But the first step to getting a girl that rejected you is to put the focus back on yourself. If you're constantly focused on her and trying to convince her that she made a mistake, you're trying to send a bunch of text messages and chase her, you're only proving to her that she made the right decision by rejecting you. You have to put the focus back on yourself. You see, the reason why women reject men is because they are making a bet about your future and they are saying that you are not a good investment. They can find a better one. And if that's the case, if you stay the same person, she is not going to wanna to be with you, which brings me to step number two, which is gonna be level yourself up, okay? Once you put the focus back on yourself, you need to start leveling up because you have to become a better version of yourself. You can't be the same version of the guy that she rejected. That's the guy who she made an assessment of, whether you guys went on a few dates, whether you were in a relationship. That's the guy who she took a strong look at and said, hey, I can do better than this. I can get something that's better for me. Right? One of the easiest ways to start is to start improving your look. Your look isn't the most important thing, but it is gonna be one of the first things that you see and other people see, and that will give you confidence moving forward. So yes, get out there, get in better shape, do something with your fashion, do something with your hair. Those things can easily build confidence from the get-go. And then the other stuff that matters more, your presence, your game, all of those things, they will follow after. Okay. Now, the second thing that you want to improve is you want to improve your lifestyle. Okay. If you're sitting at home doing nothing, crying, that's not going to get anyone interested in you. Not only is it pathetic, but it's very unattractive. So start going to social events, start doing things to add to your life, have a career or a life that's worth doing. Step number three is going to be to stop contacting her, right? You don't want to completely block her on everything, but what you do want to do is you want to mute that person. All right. Blocking and all that stuff that can... You know, it's, it sounds a little bit like overkill, okay? That shows that you actually are like mad about it and you care a lot. You actually kind of want to pretend that you don't care that much about it, all right? If a high value guy gets rejected, rather than him getting mad or, you know, doing all of these things, he's just going to be like, hmm, all right, well, her loss, right? He's not going to get super mad and try and convince her that she made a mistake. He obviously wants to get with people that want to get with him, okay? So, you have to embody that mentality. And the way that you do that is you stop contacting her. And that brings me to step number four, which is if she contacts you, what do you do? Let's say she reaches out and sends a text message like, hey, how have you been? It's been a while, right? Now, what most guys are gonna do is they're gonna be like, oh my God, you know, it's been so long. How have you been? Let's hang out soon, right? As soon as she reads that, she's gonna be like, eh, this guy hasn't moved on. This guy's still in the same position he was in. He hasn't changed. That's the guy I rejected goodbye, right? She'll probably even feel good about it, like, hey, he's still an option for me. But the text message that won't make her feel good is the text message where you say something like this. You say, hey, I've been great. Great to hear from you. And you don't say anything else. That'll get her going. That'll be like, huh, didn't even ask me how I'm doing. Again, you were nice, you were cordial, but you weren't being too much Step five is going to be to list out your weaknesses and improve upon the things that you did wrong before, okay? If you weren't confident with her, if you, you know, showed neediness, if you didn't have game or you didn't know how to flirt or you didn't know how to lead or you didn't know how to do the other stuff that we talked about, it doesn't only have to be associated with dating. Work on those things and be better the next time, okay? There was one woman, and I can remember this distinctly, who I was friends with for nine months. And after nine months, I asked her out. And when I asked her out, she decided a week later after we went out on our date, which by the way, I thought the date went amazing. She decided to get with another guy and she didn't even tell me about it. She just ghosted me. So for two years, I worked on myself. I became a better person. I embodied a lot of the stuff that I talk about in this video. 
and I became a new person. I became a better version of myself. But it was only the fact that I listed out the things that I wanted to be better about. And that's one of the first things that we do when people work with me is we list out what their actual weaknesses are. I give them an upfront, honest opinion about the things that they need to change to get the life that they want, to get the women that they want, to get the girlfriend or wife or whatever it is that they're looking for. They have to work on these things if they want to get it. Rarely will people ever give you that upfront, honest feedback. You know, people just want to be nice or a lot of times they don't even know, okay? So work on your weaknesses. The next step after that is going to be, once you've worked on your weaknesses, is you want to talk to women, okay? You're getting out there, you're being social, talk to women. Yes, you probably won't meet women immediately that are as good as this woman that rejected you who you're obsessing over. So if she's in the back of your head, that is okay. But stop comparing every woman you meet to that person. They're not gonna give you that immediate feeling that that person gave you, especially if you're constantly thinking about her right? But this is about you. This is about improving yourself. This is about getting better. This is about having, you know, some sort of uh, connection or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be someone that you date or get into a serious relationship with, but you want to have other things going on with other women to improve yourself, all right? And that brings me to my final step is when she comes back into your life. So like I said, I did all of the things that we're talking about. And then two years later, after I met up with that same person again, we met at a Halloween party. I had worked on my weaknesses. I had gone out. I had removed contact. You know, if for the brief times that we did hang out, I was cordial. You know, I made sure that I put the focus back on myself. I did all of those things. I was talking to women. I even showed up to the party with two women. She saw me in a completely different light and she was really, really into me. You know, we started flirting and she wanted to be a part of my life. But you know what's one thing I didn't do? I didn't immediately drop everything to try and get back with her. As soon as she would have seen that, she would have been not into me at all. She would have realized, oh, this guy hasn't changed. Mentally, he's still back to where it was. Even if you have money, even if you have all these crazy things going on, if you still show the mental neediness that you showed previously, she is going to automatically lose attraction for you. So it has to be real. You have to have actually moved on. By the time I met up with this girl, I had truly moved on and I was excited about a future, whether she was in it or not. In fact, I wasn't even thinking about her in the future that I was creating. I was just excited about the life that I was creating for myself. Self. And ironically, when you do this, that's the time that they come back into your life. That's the time where they reach out. And then it's up to you to decide whether you want them back in your life or not. And I decided I wanted her back in my life for a little bit at that time. Now, there were some other problems with that, which is something that I'm gonna share with you right now. Look, if a woman has rejected you in the past, she needs to change as well too. You can't both come into the same thing, the same people. If you change and you get better, but she stays into the person that rejected you, that may cause problems in the future. I am with a woman right now who I've been in a relationship with for years, who, yes, we broke up, we, she rejected me previously, and now we're back, and we're doing great. But most of the time, when I get back with somebody, or when somebody comes back into my life who has rejected me previously, there's usually problems. So this is a cautionary tale. Yes, you can get them back into your life, but just know that you can't let them back in too quickly and there may be problems along the way. But what I want you to have is I want you to have the ability to say no. I want you to get the ability to turn her away if she comes back to you. I want you to get that power. So that's what I have to say about this. Now, if you guys want help from me, you can click in the form down below. There's a link at the bottom of this video. Click on that, fill out the form, and we'll talk. Good luck out there, you guys.